Hello and welcome to the Milwaukee Mile. We are here in Truck NIS, hosted by Nick Nieben of Nieben 5. We are about to go into qualifying here with the queue setup that Daniel made for myself and Nick and Gavin and those all the guys he shares with. And I am very thankful to be part of that group. Very, very cool of him to do. We, of course, also have a race set and a looser race set uh, to choose from for the race here today. I'll go more into that later. But we are in the playoffs. Round, uh, or rather, round one of the playoffs. Race two of this round. So we are playoff racing. And looking okay to make it to the next round. I'll go ahead and bring up the uh, point stand. After this. Just so you can see where I'm at heading into this race after qualifying. That felt pretty good. We got through one and two pretty good there. I think maybe the track has more grip even than it has. But never mind that because I'm going to overdrive. Nope, never mind. We're bringing it back. <laughs> I mean, I guess that works. I have the feeling the track's a lot faster, so even though that's a full tenth up in what I've been doing, I think the track is much faster. Yeah, look at that P3 after I just had a very nice lap. Let's see if we can get anything else out of this thing. Alright, I think we are going to be slightly slower that lap. Interesting how much faster the track got, though. So you got Scott up there in the threes. Fours. Is that the muted? No, I don't. Uh, I'm happy with that. I, I feel pretty good about my qualifying effort there. Gavin right behind us at the moment, and we will do a practice pit stop as well. So that's how you speed. No? I guess we're good? I don't want to cut it that close in the race, though. It's kind of a, t it's kind of a weird pit road here, because it's obviously very straightforward. Literally, even. But, uh... Kind of hard to find the right braking point to kind of head in there. So kind of a, kind of a weird one. But we will put the uh, race setup in. Like I said, going with the looser setup. We've got a uh, the standard setup and the looser setup. I'm going with looser. I tend to prefer to go with the looser side of things. And uh, if it's loose early on, I can uh, hopefully just weather that out and then enjoy better tire wear and such later. Oh Scott gets the pole with a great lap. They were both a tenth higher as the track got faster. You can see that's Everybody pretty much faster laps during qualifying. Pretty much universally. And, uh... We were faster, but they were faster than faster. <laughs> I guess you could say. You could put it that way if you're a weirdo like me. But, like I said, I'm gonna go ahead and, while the warm-up's going on, try to bring up the point standings heading into this race. Hopefully this will work right and not, uh be stubborn with me because sometimes it doesn't like to bring up the right screens so if it can work with me here we'll see what we've got going on I have made round one of the playoffs like I said this is popping up there it is okay so right now we've got Cabe in the lead he's got a ton of a ton of uh, playoff points from all of his wins and things. Uh, you can see the guys with 2,000 over here are the guys that made the playoffs. So 1st through 10th. Down here, Ryan with 2013. And uh, I'm right in the middle here with 2060. If you win, you are in to the next round. And I believe that puts Ryan... In the next round automatically because I believe he won last week 
Everybody else still got to make it on points. How this works? First round is over. The two lowest will be eliminated. So kind of a small elimination number. So it'll be 9th and 10th. And the next round will go with 8. And that's what we're focused on here today is, um, you know, keeping ourselves above that mark. And we're feeling pretty good right now. We're 23 points up on Tyler there. And then uh, just a smidge over that for Matthias and uh, Ryan. So Ryan's hoping he can get tons of points, vault himself up a bit. Now that's going to include stage points and, you know, maybe if we get a winner, like if Ryan comes out here and wins it, then suddenly we're bumped a whole row down. That's just how this stuff works with the win in your end format. So you can't get too comfortable at any point. We have to go out there and do the best we can, which I was going to do anyway. But, you know, so I okay, got that how I want. That's all good. We spent our warm up looking at the championship standings and we will uh, we will get into the truck now starting p3 One to good go. session Stop last high. lap You'll be up and up ready closed. Pit road is closed. and hopefully have ourselves a good run here today an estimated 75 laps on a tank of fuel which means that we probably aren't going to be able to single stop this thing so what I'm going to do with my calculator right now is divide, excuse me, I got the, I, every time I start talking for these videos, I start getting like the hiccups, and I don't talk that much in real life. <laughs> so we're going to take 175 and divide it by 3, and that means we're going to try to to go for about 58 lap runs. That's what I'm liking with this. Now, the catch is... Stages. Stages are 55 and 110, so we definitely want to make it to 55. Yeah, good luck, everybody. So, I think what we're going to do here, finish the best we can, and for stage one, good luck. then pit. That'll be our plan. We want to do a first gear start. I don't know. That's a pretty quick shift. I think I'm going to do second gear. A little bit too quick of a shift for me. Especially for the initial start. It's going to be easy to overdrive and accidentally spin this thing, especially trying to keep it tight on the bottom. This guy's on the outside, so I have to be aware of that. So we're getting started. Green flag, green flag. Next car's the leader. Okay, got a massive jump on the outside up there. He basically led into turn one. Whoa, Scott out there getting loose. Oh my god. That's Hey, checking up so much. Did not plan to do that, but he was like checking up on the straightaway. That was weird. Is that just me? He was breaking points just much earlier than mine? I don't know. It was kind of scary. I did not mean for that to happen. I mean, you saw that too, I think, right? I had to lift, I had to lift off real suddenly. Oh well, we're good. We're back. Uh, we're in in line. That's all good and well. Hopefully, have ourselves a nice rotating setup here. Looser setup should do us good things. I hope. Got my brake bias back at 62%. Was at 64. I went back just a little bit more because I really want to try to get it turning with the brakes as much as possible. So I'm not using the uh, steering wheel as much, and we have a caution. Curious. Four sets of tires today. Obviously, not going to use it, use any of them right now.
not going to make it to 110 or anything, so I'm not going to have to even think about that. And we would have to make it to over like 85 if we were going to make it to halfway, so I don't think there's any way we would do any of that. No chatter on the radio. Not sure what happened. Maybe just a self-spin somewhere. Not outside the realm of possibility how loose the thing can get. Now open. Feel bad for uh, essentially diving it in on K, but I did not want to do that. That one circumstance, so. I guess I feel a little better that uh, he's ahead of me then, because I don't want to be passing people that way. That's a little too aggressive for how I prefer to drive. Closed. Pit road is closed. We're under caution. Pit's closed. So we we would essentially have to make it to what, like 87, pretty much, 87, 88, in order to make it a uh, a one stopper. We'd have to gain like 10 extra laps. So just uh, not even gonna worry about that too much. We'll add this caution to our plan, I guess. Though I already added a couple laps to my plan because of stage. So we're just going to go ahead and uh, keep it around 55 after we finish our first stage. I imagine a lot of guys are going to pit right about then. If I, uh, if I had to guess, that's probably what's going to happen. If so everyone wants to try to go for the stage points, Maybe uh, the person in P11 goes on like lap 53 or something. Does a little bit of an undercut. We'll see when we get there. It's good to see uh, Nick able to make it today. I know he hasn't been feeling well. He said he, uh, right before this, he said he was uh, starting to feel a little bit better. He's down there in 19th at the moment. Feeling well enough to race. And that's great. Um, I'm just glad. I'm glad he's feeling better. So uh, I remember I watched a video. He was a. Uh, he did. Recently, saying he was sick, and uh, he he sure sounded like he did. It didn't sound like he was feeling too well. So. First of all, glad he's feeling better. Second of all, good to see him here. It's always fun racing with him. So. Basically, uh, same thing as uh, the start. P3. Getting it going again. Internet has been bothering me a little bit. It's, it's being orange up there in the queue bar. It's misbehaving a little bit today. I just hope it doesn't get any worse than that. If it can just keep right about there, then that's okay, I guess. It's no worse than that, I hope. I'd rather not think about that at all and just focus on my driving. Hopefully we could just get some laps in here. A long way to go. No reason to uh, do anything too crazy at this point. Not that I make a habit of being crazy any other time, but you know, just trying to get some laps, some laps lab. What am I trying to say? Some laps logged. And uh, keep the truck clean in the process. Good old lops lag, whatever the heck that means. Plenty of rotation out of the car. Must be that looser setup at work. So long as I uh, keep it steady, I think that'll be just fine. Just Maybe we'll start feeling pretty good later. Really feeling it uh, 
once I start kind of getting to the exit of the corner. You know, turn two and four is when it starts getting that pull to the left. If you're not careful, can kind of get you. But that uh, turn later is going to be nice. Instead of getting tight and ending up uh, finding the outside wall or something. Scott pulling away a little bit. Not really at 110% necessarily. I'm going pretty hard, but also just being really conscious of my right front. I think the truck is really going to want to be on that right front if we go too hard. So I'm kind of just trying to think about that as well. Evan's right back there. Keeping us honest. Let me know that if I make any mistakes, he'll be there to take advantage. That's fine too. If I make a mistake, I'm not going to battle him for it. Too early for that, and it looks like there's a nice place to settle in behind him if it comes to that. So. Scott out there, full second ahead of Gabe. He's got a fast truck. It's looking like at the moment. That was a thirty point three. Lighten that looseness a little bit. You've just done a 30.4. A little wiggly it looks like from Cave, just a little bit. I feel like the truck's stabilizing a little bit. It started loose, kind of on those exits, and it feels like I can get on the gas a little smoother. It's a good sign. Jesus, Scott's just going to go lap the field? Is that what we're doing here today? <laughs> we'll see where he is later on, but he's looking pretty good right now. It goes out really wide there. So you're getting tighter. Or just making uh, the most out of the track surface. That could be it too. Something I should probably be doing. great to get a win this season. I will say that. I've been finishing a lot up front, right, Colton, and I appreciate that. But I'm never the guy that's, you know, Scott out there, for example. <laughs> and uh, normally I would not complain about that at all. I take pride in just being a consistent driver. But we are in a win and you're in format that really prioritizes wins. But Matt Kenseth's of the world no longer as prioritized so wish I could just take that extra step but with guys like Scott and Cabe and everybody else in here that's not very easy to do very easy to stand out so Cabe's pulling away from us a little bit Gaining a little bit on Gavin, maybe. Seems like we're kind of pushing and pulling on that gap. 
so that could be still fluctuating. Back to P5's been holding pretty consistently at about 0.6. I think the truck still feels pretty good. Getting a little tighter on entry, maybe. Hmm. Oh, gosh. Hmm. They're gonna make us make some choices, aren't they? Oh no, Ryan's gone. Still no chatter. Not sure what's going on, but that's a big hit. He's a playoff driver. We're under caution. Pits are closed. I think it's too early to take a set of tires still, isn't it? Or do we do it because we want to win a stage? Is that a possibility? That could be a big risk. We're not in a desperate situation by any means to make it to the next round. So I don't know if we necessarily have to do anything too aggressive with the strategy. We'll see what they do ahead of us. Yeah, we'll stay out. Still too early. I agree with that. Okay. I see some takers back there, though. Ryan Carwile going for it. Closed. Pit road is closed. Have not been uh, shown Pits are closed. that we can keep it green yet. We got both Niebens heading in, Nick and his dad, and a uh, handful more of the guys back there. Now, still haven't heard what happened in that wreck, so who knows if they were damaged or something. Hopefully not. That was a lot of guys. Nature broken just a little bit. But with a full tank of gas at 75, adding that to the, about the 25 we've done so far, can't quite make it to 110. That might have swayed my decision. If we get another caution, maybe like lap 35 or so, then i probably consider coming in. Not only because then we would make it to the second stage, but we're just farther in the race, too. We've got four sets of tires on the wall. One to go. Next time by, you'll be so if you can maybe divide the race, get ready. race at the end up of this lap. into fours or so. Kind of get an idea of how much you need to conserve the tire. Though that can be a flawed way of looking at it. We're going to we're gonna check tire spin just in case, because these tires are getting a little older. I'm curious what the guy's tires were, but we did not... Uh, get any readouts, which is fine if they want to keep that close to the chest. They could have uh, just uh, gone no tires and did some fuel, see if they can make it to that uh, second stage. Lots of things you can do there. For now we're going green. I didn't push up too much. I felt like I maybe did it a little bit. Scott did not want to see that caution at all, though. Got that huge gap and then lost it. How much tire did he lose doing so? Let's see what Cabe's got for him. If anything. Kind of feeling out my tires right now. See how much uh, they're gripping up for me. Because they were getting it was getting tighter, but with the time to cool off. It got a little bit of grip back. 
feeling them out and see what's left for us. They are booking it up there. They look like they're pushing hard. It's still quite a ways away from lap 55. I think they want that track position. Gabe kind of looking like he's going for it. Maybe if they fight real hard. Maybe if I keep it smooth, I'll, uh, I'll have something for him later. We'll see. It's really looking to me like Cabe wants that track position yesterday, though. It's all about going to get it. Yeah, okay, it's kind of catching me mid-corner. Maybe getting a little bit better of exit. At least in turns one and two, it seems to be a consistent theme. Man, those guys are fast, though. I don't know if I'm going to be in their league here today. Just have such good speed, just raw speed. Just watching them drive away on these restarts to a full second almost, in no time at all. It's tough to keep up with these guys. I'm not sure which uh, of Dan's sets Gavin went with. We were kind of discussing our thoughts before the race on which ones we would choose. I had to tell him that, uh, well, unfortunately, I just got home from work. I really didn't have time to practice all too much, but I just tend to lean toward the looser of the setups, and I did some laps with it. I did indeed enjoy the way it felt, so I kind of insinuated that I would go use the pretty consistent. elusive setup. I think that was the right word. I suggested that I would <laughs> use the looser setup. He was kind of sounding like he was going to go with the uh, standard setup. So in a way, I guess we're uh, battling it out to see which setup works out best for us. Though I think a lot of that just has to go with uh, personal preference. Looking to the inside. Is he going to make a pass? He does. He gets around Scott. Well, that's a big development here. Lap 33, Cade takes the lead. Could he be on, a way, on his way to yet another stage win? Yeah, I've been using some, some apron back there. Maybe that's how he's catching me so much mid-corner in 1 and 2. I don't know if I necessarily want to do that. Maybe I'll run a little bit lower. See if I can get some more turn down there. Maybe there's something to that. Wesley back there having a great run. He's potentially moving forward. That was a 30.6. Keep an eye on him as well. Let's not forget he is a winner this season. He won at uh, Atlanta Super Speedway, I believe. That was him, right? But I think because he missed uh, too many races, he did not have enough of a point standing position to actually make it to the playoffs. Because you do have to be, I think it's 18th or higher in the point standings for your win to count as an automatic qualification for the playoff yeah, roster. And uh, he's not always able to join, so fortunately his win did not get him in as it goes. But it's proven he can win. He's back there now. Not to be taken lightly. 
someone who has not proven that they can win this season is me. Zero wins on the season. Darn it, I've tried. <laughs> we're in a, we're right now in a pretty good spot. Pretty good looking position. It's not P1, but it is P3. But also looking at a full second plus to the leader. So that is what it is as well. Is that Ryan? That's Ryan and his fresh tires. Okay, we will let him go by easy. Inside. I know what he's got Still there. under his car. Do a big arc. Go up right behind him. Go. Watch this, this, the grip in his truck makes him go very fast. So that was the, that was what I was thinking. He was probably going to be able to move very fast. So moving forward with those tires. But will he be wishing later that uh, he had another set? We'll find out. I wasn't feeling too comfortable pitting in there. Just because I was already in a pretty good spot, like I said, didn't need to make any rash decisions. Strategy wise, not in a desperate spot. We uh, got Wesley behind us. Did Wesley pit? Wesley did not pit. He's not on fresh tires. But he is driving like he is. So maybe he saved pretty good. Did a pretty darn good job of saving him. I'll let him get a run on me. Then I won't fight too hard. Goes Brian around P2. You've got half your fuel left. That lap was a 30.9. Brian chasing down Cave now, looking for the stage win. Nick. I'm looking to prove that he is going to be the one to beat for the championship. Yeah, that, that a bit. At least with how these playoffs have started. Got himself a win. I, a way. I hope I'm remembering this oh, right. I Maybe I'm thinking about Richmond. Where Did he win there? <laughs> that probably sounded like a big dummy. But regardless, he's looking pretty good here with his decision to stay uh, to go on to pit road and get those tires as we all uh, all the rest of us stayed out pretty much we got Nick behind Wesley behind us he's also on fresher tires and has been able to move forward Wesley following in our tracks has really lit a fire under me I'm kind of feeling the need to ramp it up, which probably is going to leave me pushing up like I am right now, making mistakes. We'll get a good run off. That all works out. That's good consistency. Keep it up. That last lap was at 30.9. Man, those two cave driving away, man. Ryan after him. Here, they've got some distance now. Ten laps to go until stage one has ended. And from there we will be pitting once we get our points established. More the reason I want to try to hold off Wesley, who is actually Nick now, by the way. Nick is now the guy behind us. So I guess we successfully have held off Wesley for now. Nick is going to be on his way too now. You know he's going to want stage points as well as a fellow playoff driver. Your last lap time was at 31.0.
Nick is on the move. He's going pretty fast right now. I'd like to hold him off, but he's got a bunch of grip I do not have left in this thing. We'll make him earn it, and uh, he probably will. Pretty darn close to it already. We're getting pretty close to Scott. A little bit loose there. Is that going to be enough to give Nick the run? Uh, I didn't want to, but he looked like he was about to go. He's got it now, now that he's got the bottom. Just did not hold it low enough. Clear. Wesley behind us now. P5, you've just done at Nick's always been pretty good at this track. I you know I've seen him win at Ar in the Arc car here a couple times. This could be a very good track for him. Oh boy, four to go in the stage. You've just done a 31.0. I might not be able to hold on in front of Wesley. behind me. Getting real close to the rear end. You can take it. That was a uh, 31.0. Might have been holding the brakes a little bit too long. See uh, if just letting it roll a little bit more is going to help me out. I think it could. Oof, getting loose though. Two to go on the stage. Nick trying to get around Scott up there. Get very low here, but I think it worked pretty well. Little tight, overdrove it a bit. Not a great corner at all. And we get P5 in the stage. It's a pit here. Got the message. Inside, clear inside. The yellow flag is out. They want you in single file. Pit road is yes, closed. Catch the 77 car. Catch the 99 car. Catch the 8 car. 
Sorry, that swerved at the lap I was trying to tell you I was pitting in. I guess the message was not. I guess that's my fault for assuming he wouldn't understand what I meant. That's two races in a row I've uh, had a failure on pit entry. What the hell is that? Hitbox in 3, 2, 1. Oh my god. 66, 81. I gotta do better than that. Okay, punch it. They want you in single file. Are we three wide on exit there? Get up, 99. Go. <sighs> Dylan on the right rear. Look at that. Wow. So I got to do better, I think, on getting this thing turned. I'm going to go just a little bit more on the brake bias. I think I should be able to handle it. One to go. Next time by. Line up on the outside. Get ready. Get ready. Get ready. Get ready. So we can make it to 110. 115 to go. I guess we'll pit it after the second stage. Everyone's really silent this race. Actually, didn't have anything to say. I'm sorry to him. I really tried to indicate that I was pitting, swerving all the way to the left on the back stretch. Message back across. James has got to catch up. There we go. The pace car is in. Green flag, green flag. Green flag. P8. Car inside. Go on now. Still there, hold your line. Clear James spinning. Is that going to bring out a caution? Not yet. It is. didn't get any damage, I don't think, from uh, our, the little collision there. I, I know I didn't, because I didn't have to repair anything. So that's good, at least. I'll spin. Got a little bit low there. Got the truck loose.
Snick out on older tires. I have to save the set or something. Car outside. Keep low. Still there. Outside, clear. So we're moving back forward a little bit after we lost some uh, some spots. Sixth place. That lap was a 30.2. Drove that uh, pretty bad. Do kind of want to save my tires better this time. I don't know if I'm gonna be able to do that though. I don't know if I, uh, guess it's on me for not making it clear enough that I was pitting. I'm really trying to think about that. Like, I really didn't want to say it out loud because I wanted to undercut on the guys ahead. I think the track position could be really important if I could overtake them. And so I, I swerved out of turn two. Maybe I uh, should have been more blatant with it. Maybe it didn't look as exaggerated as I thought it felt in the truck. That stinks. I get hit from behind uh, two, two consecutive league races trying to pit in. This one, probably my fault though. I'll talk about it later and see what other people think and everything. Only I could just wave my hand out the window. That's how they do it in real life. The guys up front can't see that, but the guy behind can. That's exactly what I need. I guess you could, like, DM the guy, but it seems kind of difficult to do while driving. The DM was, uh, with a turn to the left on the back stretch, but, uh, the cell tower failed to send it, I guess. So we lose some crucial track position, which is unfortunate, because it does seem like it could be very important have that track position. I'm getting into too many wrecks lately though. Really do not want to continue that trend. You know it's two races in a row, which is wow, a big deal. <laughs> but I prefer it didn't happen at all, to be honest. Well, we'll go to lap 110. I guess we'll pit whenever we hit that mark. I guess that'll be the thing to do. Scott and Cabe again, just pulling out front. Showing that they are uh, the ones to beat. Got a real strong group up here, though. This whole like top uh, seven, not too far off. Wesley behind us, and then there's about a second gap behind him. Yeah, we got a little boost there.
truck actually feels really good right now. I don't know if it's because I got used to it feeling tighter late in that other run, but it's feeling pretty pretty good right now. Up to Gavin's bumper. That last lap was at thirty point five. All right, Colton, cup times are pretty consistent. Seems like it's really tough to, to make any gains. That light was at 30.5. The uh, brake bias move back is helping us. I do think it's been okay. At least there, that has nothing to, to, to do with the brake bias. Your lap time was 78 laps completed. Our time was 2.6. Is that past halfway? That's right about halfway. What line I'm taking this time around is not great. Hitting the uh, curb and losing all my momentum out of the corner. That was terrible. Trying to do math. Trying to figure out if we're halfway through the race. <laughs> See, don't stop making me do math. Don't make me make uh, more mistakes. At least caught back up to me as I've stunk it up the past couple of laps. Yeah, I've been looking to get a run, maybe to get a uh, an overtake done. Looks like he's thinking about it, maybe. That's good consistency. Getting up to the back of Dylan up there. He's been very loose, it sounds like. Judging on his uh, tire conditions after that previous run. Very hard to get anything done, I think. Hard to get enough of a run to really get around anybody, it seems like. Ooh, got real loose there. Still a bit away from 110 at the end of our next stage. 
interesting to see how this is developing. Can't tell if I'm catching up to Gavin or not. We're all on equal tires at this point, or at least we were at the start of the run. Scott's looking very loose up there. In fact, Scott's up there. I thought he was the one battling for the lead up there. That's Brian up there. Stalking Cabe. Giving him things to think about. We got lap traffic coming up. But we'll catch that at a decent spot. God, I just got major loose because he's right up behind me. Very close to my back end. Now God. Still there. Shallow entry, unfortunately. Man, it really gets loose when they're up right behind you like that. Your last lap time was at 31.0. Good consistency. I don't feel like I'm being very consistent though. Feels like my lap times are all over the place. Feel like I'll get green one lap and then I'll be like half a tenth off the next and then I'll go back to green. And that tells me I'm not being as consistent as I would like to be. But that's uh, not what the crew chief says. You've just done so I guess I'm consistent enough for him. there though. I'm just gonna give it up. He's gotta get alongside me if he wants it. Call, I'm not gonna just give him it. Loose with him right behind me again. I'm gonna go wide on exit there, he's probably gonna have me. I'm not quite. gonna get me eventually though he's better in a much better state right now I can tell he's just got more speed you've just done a 31.0 just gonna keep running my line though until he gets to my inside so hopefully he doesn't get to the back of me again 
Though the other time was just uh, me pitting. Those has got me. Clear inside. Inside. Lost it for a second, but that would have been very aggressive me to uh, take that clear. Stay high. There's a car on the low side. Clear. You have it on someone's inside up there. This has got much better drive off than I have right now. P7, you've just done a 31.3. So Gavin gets around Scott, who's having a less successful run number two. I guess we're feeling pretty good to finish at least P7 though. We'll still get some points in the stage. Looks like we should uh, at least have that. Oh wow, whoa, Scott drifting it out of four. He was sideways for a long time there. He's got some major handling issues to be doing that. Okay, Colton, the next car is Irvin. You know his tires are on fire after that slide too. You can tell he has no grip right now. Crazy. Bartu's inside yet. chance. Just held it together the last couple of corners. No big slides. Maybe a little bit there though. Not quite enough to get to his inside. Quite there. Your lap time was thirty-one point two. Who's coming up on us behind now? see someone bigger in my rear view. That's Shane. He's gained a ton all of a sudden, I guess, from me trying to get around Scott here.
We're going pretty spread apart now. Felt like we were all pretty close for a while, and now we're kind of spreading apart up here. Any momentum I had on Scott for a while there, I think I've lost. Where I'm going, I got too low there. Not a good corner. Okay, Colton, lap times are pretty consistent. Scott's picked up the pace again. Smoke. Not sure, what's going on up there? Close to that 110. I don't know if I'm going to be able to get around Scott. The lap time was at Getting uh, lapped up there, it looks like. The oh, Scott gets loose. Okay, that's the mistake I needed. Outside, clear. Finally. Man, you know how rare that is with how good these drivers are in this league? No one ever makes mistakes. Especially not someone like Scott. Thank goodness, he finally made a bobble. Thankfully, I was there to take advantage. I know that truck's been loose for him for a long time. Finally, a sign that he's human makes a slight mistake. He's actually pitting now, maybe? Maybe not. I think I think still some of it. But uh, you get it right before the stage end. It's pretty cool. We'll uh, get an additional spot for the stage, and we're going to pit right away. Try to undercut this thing as much as we can while still getting our stage points. Uh, P6. P5. What we'll get? There's Scott. I guess he did end up pitting. Strangely, he chose not to get stage points. And I make a quick stop. Watch right. speed. Pretty slow stop, but yeah, I'll take it. We think we'll need to stop again. I'm not greedy. Kickboxing. Five, three, two. Oh yeah, the quick countdown. Right here. Appreciate that. <laughs> Seventy-one eighty. Share that. Okay, go. Coming 
car approaching. Watch your mirrors. Car outside. Clear high. Up there. Right. Outside. The lead is fitting now. Still there. Hold your eyes. Heads up. Clear high. I had to get a good angle in the corner. These are the undercut laps here that we're trying to get. Tried to get as much as I could, but didn't really even have that good of an outlap. Very minor gains, looks like, the guys I had. Still in. See if uh, it stays green to the end. Tenth position. So we come into the pits for the cycle. P6. So we'll try to see uh, if we gain or lose anything. Okay, Colton. We're gaining on the car in front. The gap's now 4.1. As the car exits in the pits, heads up. You're in the top ten. Place. Trying to drive harder this time. I just I really want to know where I can get more speed. I just can't seem to get it. I think that's a me issue. Stack up. Heading into the corner there. Guy exiting the pits. That was a dangerous situation. Three wide. There's a lap car coming out of the pits. He had nowhere to go, I don't think. Except right in front of them. So that would gain us some time on them, but I don't know if I'm going to be able to do anything with that anyway. Why is he at the bottom? Look at that. Oh my god, I'm going to lose so much time. Hopefully he goes high here. I know that was probably a dangerous spot for him to move up. Good now. I understand him not wanna, wanting to switch lanes abruptly. That's probably the smart thing to do, so I understand that. It sucks for me because I lost some time, but I guess that's uh, only fair. Evens out with the, the time lost to the, guy, the guys ahead had. Man, I'm trying everything I can to try to gain some on these guys. It's just, there's, they are fast. I'm kind of just driving hard, to be honest. Let's see if it works out for me. Got some space behind where if I start falling off bad, I should hopefully still be able to have a floor of 8th where I am right now. Or better if there's people staying out longer. Nick, I think, might be up to something. He's out in the lead right now. He might be, uh... Running his tank dry. Looking to catch a caution, maybe, or something. That was a 30.2. I'm just out here trying to dive into the corner as hard as I can, just trying to do everything I can to get some speed. Probably not the right way to do it, but it's what's happening.
Pass attempt. Nope. Come off. Nick's finally pitting in. Let's see if he can come back to us. Take a time. <laughs> I tried to see if I could get my nose up in there. Not quite. I feel like I haven't made a pass this whole darn race. Let's try. Bad there. I'll go up high here, guys. I'll go high. Scott's on two lap older tires. You got. It. Think. Pinch me so hard. Get there though. I know it was aggressive. I don't know how else I'm gonna do it though. Well, there is a pass. I don't know how I feel about it. I feel like that's more aggressive than I like to be. So I did not get a call. He justifiably held it tight on the outside. I kept it off of him. Did successfully get there. But I feel with his two lap older tires, we needed to get around. So we're going to be faster. I see we're pulling away from him. Just needed to, I don't know, I just had to rip the band-aid off, I guess. I'll be the bad guy, I guess, this time. I'm sorry. Make the aggressive pass. It'll put us into P6. I don't know if we've got any more in us than that. Back to where we were. Four pit stops. The guys are ahead. The guys ahead have some distance on us. So two sets of tires, but we are going to the end on this fuel tank. So we'll only use them if we get cautions. Oh, Dylan, very, very loose. Was at 30.5. Gigantic 10 second lead for Cabe. I don't know how anyone's going to beat him for the championship. We've got 45 laps. Let's see what more we can get. Let's see if we lose anything else. The gap ahead is now 1.0. Driving way too hard. I'm sure this is gonna. I'm gonna regret this later. Okay, Colton. 
That's good consistency. Keep it up. Driving in hard, exiting hard. I'm just holding on to the thing. Pretty fun though. At least there's that. And fun. Given this thing all, all that I've got. Forget about tires. gonna do here the extra percentage just doing it little barely to any difference that'll make I'm sure break bias as far back as we can get it that last lock was at Up on Allen here. I'll go high in uh, one and two, Gavin. Thank you. This is tough racing. We really gotta hold on to this thing. Whoa, speaking of holding on to this thing, Rick. Having an issue with it. Outside. Clear up, Tom. I messed with my head a little bit the way Rick was turning down out of the corner. Car inside. Clear inside. Is he? Oh my goodness. That was a uh, point eight. Didn't know if I was clear of him or not. Couldn't really see him. Back off early. It's about a tenth and a half. But, better that than wrecked. Had to be careful, make sure it wasn't there still. Man, we lost about three, four tenths on Dylan through that whole exchange. Thought that was at 31.0. Might just be a sixth place for us. We're kind of on our own little island here. Space in front of and behind us. Feels like Dylan's pushing up the track a bit. Maybe getting loose. But he's still got quite an advantage on us. Let's see if we can cut into that lead he has on us at all. I don't think I, I can. I think I'm reaching the end of my truck's tire life already just from killing this thing. Seeing if there's anything to shifting, I don't think so. Just wanted to test it. At least uh, leave that question answered rather than unanswered. The gap in front is now 1.8 seconds. See how much momentum it lost us last lap. I got nothing, man. We just better hope we can hold on to this P6, I guess.
lap times are pretty consistent. Gabe with about a second lead almost, just under that. Ryan and P2. And we got Gavin with a very strong run going in P3. He's had a great day. He's about, oh, he's over half a second up on Wesley at the moment. Everybody ahead of us has newer tires, for what that's worth. Only one or two laps, but fresher tires. So that obviously isn't going to help us catch them at all. Not that we were anyway. Let me see after Gavin. And Wesley, you got Dylan. And then myself, just outside of the top five. Happen to be another consistent finish for me if I can finish it here. <laughs> but, uh, again, another one where I'm not really competing for the win. Just more top ten action. It's gotten me far, but hopefully isn't going to get me all the way. When it comes to championship, anyway. Still gaining on Scott back there. It's two lap older tires. Shane is on the same age of tires as us. He's got uh, four seconds back. So yeah, I think this is uh, right about where we're going to finish. Unless anything uh, crazy happens like a yellow. But we've had a really good long green run going right now. So it's not looking that way, especially with how spread out everybody is. It's looking like this one very likely to go green to the end. Especially with no like battle for the lead. So I'll keep checking in on that in case... Never mind, I'm going to be the caution. Oh, that was terrible. <sighs> you ever just wish you were better at something than you are? <laughs> Sometimes I wish I were better at exiting turn four at Milwaukee Mile in the truck. Is that specific enough for you? Thankfully we have room behind us to spare. We ought to just get this thing home safe. James pitting in. Right. Now we still got a nice chunk laps to go too. I'm looking at uh, our laps to go. What is that? 26 when we get to the line again still? Yep. Pretty long race, especially for the trucks. When you compare it to something like uh, that Pocono race we did that felt like it was over in a flash. Pretty good distance here today. Milwaukee Mile, so only uh, 175 miles, but maybe it's just uh, having to fight the wheel. Feels like it's pretty a pretty long distance we've gone. So we can take a look at the lead. It is growing for Gabe. He's got this in the bag. Looks like. Gained a whole uh, 0. 0.6 since the last time I looked. So he is on easy street. What I don't need is that L bar to continue being orange or yellow. Yellowish orange. Whatever you want to call that. 
that to not be that anymore. If I disconnect from this, I'm going to be sad. Just like I was sad at Bristol. I'm going to be sad here. And at least have the stage points I gathered. Can't take those away, but that's all I can get for these playoffs. Man, it feels like we are all alone out here. We've got all that room in front of us. Looks like we're like all the only ones on this side of the track. Gosh, it's really trying to snap on me out of four. That is a side effect, I'm sure, of how hard I was trying to drive it this whole run. All on me, but to see what I could do. It did get us around Scott, at least. But that should have happened anyway, eventually. I assume. Just because of uh, how much better our tires are, it seems. Well, we've got distance on now. Huge gap between Ryan and Gavin, second to third. A whole full, like, seven seconds, it looks like. Very interesting how those two guys just really drove away. Early in the race, it was Scott up there. And then uh, Ryan kind of took his place, breaking away. Nick is going to come get us. He has much fresher tires, and he's about 4.8 seconds back. Just, Just remembered he he's probably got some good grippy tires on that thing, because he went much longer. But he has a lot to gain. He wants to get up to us. He could catch Shane, though. You think he's pretty much right there already. See if he shows up on our relative at some point. The gap to Irvin behind is now 2.9. Alright, 157 completed. Your last lap time was at 31.0. All right, it's gotten a bit boring. We are just uh, looking to get to the end of this thing, I think. Nobody round. Oh, Jesus. I don't know why turn four is giving me so much trouble all of a sudden. It's been pretty much fine the whole day. I guess it really is just me from from me driving so hard this run, but it's turn four specifically, which is kind of funny. Sixteen to go. about eight more minutes before the end of this race, assuming no cautions, which is still a possibility. Could happen. Be pretty unfortunate. I don't think I really would enjoy the chaos of a late restart. There, but... There. Okay, Colton, 
Still no Nick on our relative. Not yet. Still seeing Shane back there now. To match his car truck number. Our truck. Truck car. Oh, drove that. Losing focus a little bit here, but that is uh, just a luxury I kind of have right now. Really nothing fighting for too hard. Kind of get a little bit lazy with my marks. Just can't wreck the thing. Looking at you, turn four. Can't wreck the thing out of four. That lap time was 31.1. Looking like Shane might actually catch Scott back there. They're only two tenths apart when I last looked there, right before I entered the corner way too shallow. Gabe's still driving away. Looks like it. He's about two seconds up now. I'll have to remember to apologize to Wesley in case he uh, doesn't have voice chat. Just to uh, explain to him what happened that first time in case uh, he didn't know why I was holding it so close to the bottom, like maybe he thought I was blocking or something. Which I was not. Just trying to uh, get to the pits. Ten to go coming up for the end of stage three, if you will. Got in left to go. In to go. That's good consistency. Keep it up. The gap in front is now six point three seconds. Gavin and Wesley up there, still only separated by a couple tenths. Interesting to see if they have a battle before the end of this one. Gavin could be having himself a stressful drive, in direct contrast to my very lackadaisical drive. I guess it's nice to have nice clean track around me once in a while, even though it may be a little bit snoozy. At least I'm not freaking out and Sweating to death, trying to hold on to the spot. Though I wouldn't have minded if it meant I was up there fighting for P3 or something. I just lost that track position. After uh, I got hit from behind. And uh, I don't know if that uh, was the only thing. I could just be slower. But it was a track position I definitely did not have anymore. see Nick finally. In fact, I don't see Scott. Scott, interestingly, the one to fall off there. Just off of the uh, relative. I thought it was looking like it was going to be Shane. No time to catch me, though, I don't think. They're still over four seconds back, both of them. The gap behind is now 4.4 seconds. We are coming to six to go. Five. Five to go. 
All right, coming down to the end of this thing. Feels like such a long race. I'll go high and uh, one Gavin again. Almost feeling like the Coke 300 we just did in the uh, <laughs> Diet Dr Pepper series. Okay. Which was an actually very long race. And mileage almost twice what we've done here, though, too. The gap in front is now 6.4. Nick has gotten around Shane back there. I guess I'm lucky it's. Oh, what's that noise? What was that? Screaming. He got past Gavin, I guess. Tires are like liquid. Something happened there. What was I saying? Oh yeah, I'm lucky. I guess I'm lucky it's ending when it is. Shane, is he gonna not make it on fuel? He said auto fuel. Got him. Uh oh. We only got two more laps. Hope we can make it. That was a Get out and run if you can't make it. <laughs> Do it Flintstone style. I think he might be out of fuel. I'm seeing him backing off huge. Can't believe that. Auto fuel got him. The gap behind is now 5.6. I've been very lucky auto fuel hasn't done that to me. Our white flag, no uh, caution chance anymore. White flag, one more to go. Finally, pull into our P6 finish. Away from everybody else, pretty much. Good five seconds on both sides of us. Ah, nice job. I wish I hadn't got loose there, but I probably would have been able to hold you off anyway. I don't get left. Don't get loose out of four. One last time to not do that. Alright. Good win. E6. Okay, it's over. Alright. Take it flat. Yeah, get around there, man. You. Oh, God. Great job. You were quicker really on well. like first 30 laps. And Jesus. Yeah, I think I just was a little too hard on my right front. Did you get tight at the end or loose? Because it seems like half the field was loose, half the field was tight. Uh, more tight than loose, but yeah, more loose. All right, we'll pull over. Yeah, I'm to to the west. I just put like a who needs to apologize to the truck for doing that, that to it. Work, so I think that's what got me. It, so I don't know for sure. So turn around, guys. That was fun. Uh, 6278. I wasn't really trying that last run, though. I was kind of just driving. So that doesn't surprise me. Glad uh, Wesley still got a great finish. He still got a P3. So he did very well. So I guess it uh, didn't do much harm. We'll look uh, back at that and. I probably didn't swerve enough to indicate that I was pitting. Like I said, it probably felt like a bigger swerve than uh, it really was. So he didn't know it was that I was going. Oh no, lap three, Michael finds the water barrels. It's an early exit for him. Turn four got him. They tried to get me plenty of times. And here it's getting Ryan. This is what happened to him. Oh, no. Already victim number two. God, I didn't do that yet. So that's where Ryan went. That is not helping his... Uh... I ran out of fuel during the burnout because I guess I didn't uncheck auto fuel. So I was a lap to the good. 
Let's go Definitely back. Almost back. Yeah, I hate that all of you. I understand it, but I really like, thought that's move it. Unchecked at the start, please. I thought that was pretty obvious. It's always been alright to me, but I've never come up short, but I definitely did this time. Right, what does it look like from his point of view? I use race laps auto fuel, but I reckon my race is override. I, I don't know. I, maybe he doesn't know that's what that means. Put it that box for adding extra fuel to the auto fuel, and that's uh, not every step. Gets under that's me when I'm trying to pit. Didn't think about rechecking it. I don't know. Well, my wrist is killing me now. I was going to say the same thing. My right wrist really hurts. Yeah, same. I'm like, I was complaining about it last 10 laps. I'm like, oh my god. Yeah, my right rotator cuff is killing me. <laughs> yeah, I was kind of in the middle of a uh, middle of nowhere that whole last run. Felt like uh, ages. Running out of things to talk about. They're all holding on for dear life. That's why it hurts. I know that's right. And uh, that was it. That was the whole race. What a clean race. This is one of my favorite tracks, though. This was awesome, right? All right, yeah, so Cave gets fun. the win. We will get uh, P6. So, solid finish. I'll definitely take it. We got stage points both times. Finish ahead of a couple of playoff drivers like Nick, Scott, Ryan. Not what he wanted to come out and do for this one. And uh, Matthias, 12th. Tyler, he's in the playoffs too, I'm pretty sure. P10. So, probably nothing too big shakeup wise for the playoffs. Cade gets his win, of course. I believe that's his first win. Unless he was the one that won last week. I don't know why my memory is failing me, but. We'll go ahead and look at the results page. And uh, we'll also look at the uh, point standings. Actually, I think the point standings just. Uh, no, they're not. Still have to bring them up. <laughs> But, uh, all right, Milwaukee Mile results. Here they are. And here you go, points 31 right between a 32 and a 30. See how it goes there. 44 Cabe, but more importantly to him, gets the win and therefore locks himself into the next round. Solid showing for us. That's really all we needed to do. Feeling good, uh, for the next round. So not too much to see there. What we're going to really be looking at now are the standings. Now keep in mind, this is uh, before stage points, so that could make a big difference. But you'll see K blocked in, 131, just kicking some butt. And uh, standing-wise, we're, we're just about right around the same area. P5. See Nick, Gavin, Tyler back there. So uh, I was correct. Tyler in the playoffs, as I thought. And uh, here's your cutoff line right here between Matthias and uh, Tyler. They've got a pretty close battle right now. So that's going to be something really interesting to look at as we finish off this round. So... All right, I guess that will do it for this one. I'm still pretty surprised how little there was to see a very, very clean race. Might have missed some stuff, but presumably nothing too big since they didn't show up in the incidents. But that'll do it. Thank you for watching. Hope you enjoyed, and I will see you in the next one. Have a good one.